I found this deer in the yard. It was trying to think that dogs uh, were its mother. Hi everyone, I am here to show you another wildlife video and this one is about a baby deer. And let me fill you in on the story. It, the video was taken like two years ago in 2016. Now these are my dogs. That's Hank there in the front. There's Emma. And right here we have Foxy. They are labs. I was in the house and here's our, there's my house up there. And I heard Hank barking. And I was like, why is that dog barking? You know, I was up in my nail studio and I could see him. And he was like right here, just barking and barking and barking. And so I look out and there's this little baby deer standing there. And its knees are wobbling and stuff like it was just born. And it was standing there staring at Hank and he was just barking so bad. I, can't, I ran downstairs and I came out this door here and I ran and I was like, oh, I got to get that baby deer because the dog, baby deer came any closer to Hank. I wasn't sure if he would take the baby deer and like shake it by the back of the neck and maybe kill it. And I didn't want that to happen. So I, I just slowly came over. The dogs have an underground fence that goes all, you know, quite a ways around the house and yard, but they can't get through the uh, woods here it stops right over here and I I came over and I started calling my dog Hank back and I said Hank come on come on Hank and I thought if I could distract Hank before the other two dogs that were like out front came around the baby deer would maybe go away and go back in the woods I distracted Hank and I called Hank and we started running up through here like this I turn around and I look and the baby deer is like running after us I was like, oh my God, I can't have that. And then as soon as I turned around and looked again, here come the other two dogs. And I was like, oh, oh my God, the the deer is gonna maybe get hurt by the dogs. And so I, I didn't, you know, cause at first I didn't want to pick it up cause you shouldn't have your scent on the animals and stuff like that. So, but anyways, I didn't have a choice. So I ran back down to the baby deer. It stopped when it saw me running back towards it. It like stopped like right here. And then I had to pick it up. I just put it right down in the weeds here. And as soon as I did, it just it just collapsed. Its nature was to uh, collapse in the tall grass and just lay still. And that's what it did. And that's why you see it in the video. It's so still, not moving. Because, because I had just picked it up and put it in the woods here. And my voice is, in the video, is kind of shaken and kind of light. I was so nervous that the dogs were going to get that baby, and I, I was afraid. And the same thing, I was afraid that maybe the mother wouldn't, would refuse to take it back or something. It all worked out, and the baby deer stayed there, and I was worried all night long. I was like, oh my god. So I ran out in the morning, and I came over, and I looked, and it was gone. So I was happy about that. So that's my story about that. Uh, baby deer they they can't they can't get over this close uh, because like I said their their boundary goes underground so I think it's like 10 feet deep then they'll get a little shock I know that sounds mean but we have such a large area that we we cannot have the dogs going in the woods because sometimes dogs have a tendency to chase deer a deer is fast but they don't um, they don't run for long periods of time and dogs can they can chase a deer until it's exhausted in a short time and cause injury to the deers. You don't want your dogs to be loose, you know, chasing wildlife. That's why we have the electronic fence. So I didn't want anybody to think it was a mean thing. If you look at Foxy, you can see a black box on her. She is wearing her boundary collar. And when they come in the house for the night to go to bed, they get their um, collar taken off. And then in the morning, they get it back on. Because that's the story. Here's a baby deer. It was coming to the dogs thinking that the dogs was its mother. It was just born probably earlier today. And this baby deer, I, I had to pick it up and put it back in the woods so the mom could uh, get it and get it out of the reach of the dogs. I didn't want them to be to get the baby. He thought the dogs were his mommy. I hope you enjoy that footage uh, about the baby deer. We'll see you next time in Out the Window Wildlife. Bye!